Hi, I want to talk to you about using a very simple move. It's just four turns of the cube to solve a Rubik's Cube over and over again. You're going to use this move. Uh, it's just up, away, down, back. It's just four turns of the cube. That's all it is. And what's amazing is by doing this, you end up rotating the, the pieces from here to here. And you also end up changing the orientation. So we start off that white piece was down here. But watch, as I keep doing this move, it's going. this piece is eventually going to end up right back here. Way down, back, up, away, down, back, up, away, down, back, up, away, down, back, up, away, down, back. And look at that, the cube's back to normal. Now we do it on the right side, but we also need to learn how to do it with the left side. So this is a move you just want to be practicing over and over again. We're going to use this exact same move every time in this cube. So we're on the left side of the cube now. Up, away, down, back, up away, down, back. And some people talk about clockwise, counterclockwise. I think it's more helpful just to talk in terms of direction than I'm moving the cube. So I'm going up, away from the side, and then uh, down, and then back. It's an alternate between those two. All right, so you have a messed up Eurex cube. The first step is to come up with a white cross. And what you do is you look for a side and you need to have the color in the center match the color here. So we have the green here, and this is uh, the beginning of our cross. We're going to need to find it for the orange on this side, the blue, and the red on this side. Looks like the red's all side lined up, so we have the green and the red ready to go. But the rest of this is kind of a trial and error. So you just need to kind of rotate the cube until you find the proper uh, connections for trial and error. So here we go. We've got that one, and there we go. So we have our white cross. The next step is we want to solve for the white bottom. And what we do here is we rotate the cube, we put the white on the bottom, and we need to find two colors that are the same. So here's red and green. This is the red and green side, which is great. So we're going to do the move until this piece moves from here to here. This is also great because it's going to teach you if you have a white one down here, how do you get it out? This move will pop it up, watch. Up, away, down, back, up, away, down, back, up, away, down, back, up, away, down, back up away down back this has been popped down here and it moved this that piece that was on the bottom all the way up here this move moves things from here to here so that's great so now we have this orange piece and the green piece so uh, orange and blue so let's look for orange and blue here we are here's the orange side and here's the blue side so we're gonna rotate this until this has gotten into the proper spot and so we're just doing up away down back until that's in place fantastic so now we have red and, and blue. So let's find the red and blue side. Here it is, red and blue. The space needs to become here. So up, away, down, back, up, away, down, back, up, away, down, back, up, away, down, back. And you just keep doing this until you get that piece popped into place. Fantastic. So we have this, this last piece that we have to go. So we move this over here. And we're going to pop this into place. It's moving from here to here. So we just do this rotation until it's in place. That solves our bottom layer. And the next thing we need to do is we need to solve for the second layer. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be actually exchanging pieces from the top to the side here. What you don't want is to use any of the pieces with yellow. You want to find pieces that have just the two colors. So here, this is green and orange. That's great. We need to move this piece down into this position. And this piece right here is going to move up to this position from this move. So what you do is you look for the color, you line it up on the side, and then you look for the color on the top. And you're going to rotate the top of the cube away from the color side that you were just working on. So you do that first rotation, and then you do the move once. Up, away, down, back. Now you rotate to the side that you're working on, the orange, and we're still rotating on the side we were doing with the green. So we're gonna be over here now, up, away, down, back. And that has just moved these two pieces in place. So that's popped in place. So let's look for the, the blue here. So this is a good example, because now we're gonna be doing it on the opposite side. The orange is over here. So we rotate this away, away from the orange, and we're dealing with this side. So we go up, away, down, back. Now we rotate because we're doing the blue side over here, and we're going to rotate on the blue side. Up, away, down, back. And that has popped those two places to exchange it back into place. So we just keep looking around to see if we have anything else that we can work with. Uh, here it looks like this piece doesn't belong, 
Uh, and so that's what we got to move out. That's okay. Don't worry if you have something like that. And all these pieces up here are yellow or some yellow connection. All you do is you just do this move just to pop it out of place. So up, away, down, back, rotate it, up, away, down, back. And that has now moved that piece from this spot. Uh, it's been moved up here. So here it is. Uh, so we're going to move it right here. And we have the red and blue. So red and blue. So we're going to rotate it away, away, up, away, down, back. Rotate it to the red side, up, away, down, back. And there we have our second layer complete which is fantastic. Now we're gonna work on the top layer. The top layer, it's going to either start off as a dot or there's going to be an R, which is the next phase, a line, or an X. We need to get it to an X. And the phases goes from a dot to an R to a line to the X. So what you do is you put the white on the bottom once again and you rotate the front of the cube clockwise once. And that puts this white line up here. And you do the move once, up, away, down, back, rotate your white line back down and now you'll see we have a line that's perfect you need to have this line parallel to you it doesn't matter which way just parallel to you you're going to rotate the whole thing clockwise once put that white line over there white still on the bottom and we do the move up away down back rotate this white line back into place and you're going to see now we have an x on the top which is fantastic now what we need to do is we need to get our corner pieces in place so what you do for the corner pieces is you're going to look at the colors and you're going to line them up. So let's see red, red's over here, red and blue. So again, it doesn't matter the orientation, but red and blue belong here. Uh, we look over here. This doesn't belong. This is out of sync because this is orange and blue and this is red and green. That doesn't belong. Here we have uh, red and green. That doesn't belong. And here we have orange and green, which doesn't belong. So we only have one thing that belongs. So now what you need to do, this move that I'm going to teach you, it's going to be moving this piece to this spot and this spot to this spot. So we're reversing these two top pieces. So we just need to think through logically, how do we get places, pieces into the places that we need them to be? So here we have uh, the red and green, and that red and green needs to go here. So this is probably the first move, because this one here is going to eventually need to be over here. So we're going to move this red and green, and this one's right, the blue and red side. So we're going to move the red and green from this side to this side with this move. And there you do it three times. Uh, so you go uh, one, two, three. Complete it, and then you rotate to the side you were, you were shifting things on, and you do it again. Again, we're still on this side. So one, two, three. And you see the white's back. Rotate it back. And now what we discover, let's line that up. So we had our uh, red and green are lined up and see we still have the red and blue. So these two have been put in place. That piece moved from here. These two spots moved. And now we're from here to here is what we need to do. So again, we line the side up that we need to move things on. We do this three times. One, two, three. Don't worry about it messed up. Rotate it to the side you were trying to shift things on. Do it on again. One, two, three. And see the line that tells you you're complete. So you complete the move, but then you rotate it back and you discover now these pieces are in place. So now everything's in place. It doesn't matter the orientation. What matters is that the colors line up. So green and orange, check. Uh, blue and orange, check. Uh, blue and red, check. Green and red, check. The next move we need to learn is how to put these pieces into proper orientation. We want to make this whole bottom yellow. So we turn the cube over just like that and we pick a side. It doesn't matter which which corner we start with and we're going to do the move until the yellow is on the bottom. So up, away, down, back, up, away, down, back. So this is now in its proper orientation, which is great. So we rotate this only the bottom layer until it's lined up again. We don't mess with these two layers, even though they look messed up. Don't touch them. Up, away, down, back, up, away, down, back, up, away, down, back, up, away, down, back. Complete the cycle. Okay, now we rotate this over until we have our next piece that we need to put into proper orientation. Up, away, down, back, up, away, down, back, up, away, down, back, up, away, down, back. Complete the cycle. I know it looks messed up, 
But trust me, this last one's gonna be magic. This is all gonna line up. So here we go, the last corner. Up, away, down, back, up, away, down, back. And when you do that, you're gonna magically have your entire bottom layer. Now, if you're lucky, like we are, uh, potentially you're gonna have everything lined up, but we don't. We only have the green, but you'll see here, this is messed up still a little bit with one piece in the middle, one piece in the middle, that's okay. You wanna go with the side that's got the most completion. So if you have solid, that's great. If not, then what you would wanna do is you would want to line up a side like this and put the red in the middle. Doesn't matter. Uh, in this case, we have the green. So this is the last step, and this is a lot of fun. What you do is you wanna put two eyes on the face of the cube. So you go once up, away, down, back, and you put one eyeball on this side. You're gonna do it on the opposite side. Up, away, down, back, and you have two eyes staring at you. Now, you're gonna do this move five times on the, on the right side of the cube and five times on the left side of the cube. So here we go. And what's great is you can do five times or just wait until the white line shows up. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. See that white line? There we go. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now, what's great is if you've done this properly, it might take a few times to go through the cycle, but if you've done it right, eventually you're gonna have this cube look just like that. It might take a few times of that rotation, but in that case, it just completes it. So there you have it. That's how you do the cube.